So the injury bug has crept its way into the Baltimore Ravens, unfortunately. Uh, and Nick Moore, uh, their starting special teamer, starting long snapper, uh, he tore his Achilles. Jeff Zrebik reported that he tore his Achilles while in training uh, for preparation uh, this season. Uh, so the Ravens, they moved quickly. They had a tryout for long snappers, and that tryout was won uh, by former Seattle Seahawks and 2020 Pro Bowl selection Tyler Ott. So that's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate when, again, biggest thing I've been saying this offseason, man. Biggest thing that could get in the way of the Baltimore Ravens is health. Health is wealth. Um, and this is like, I know there are going to be some people that say, oh, it's just a long snapper. But I, I disagree with that because when you think about it, and while the Ravens have been able to get it done, they've got it done. So that's a good thing. But this is a big part of what they do. Let me explain that. Justin Tucker, remember the Wolfpack? Justin Tucker, Morgan Cox, Sam Cook. Morgan Cox was a long snapper. Sam Cook was the holder. And Justin Tucker was the kicker. And then on punts, of course, uh, Morgan Cox was the long snapper and Sam Cook was the punter. So um, it takes a great chemistry, a great connection to make that happen. Uh, but then we remember uh, while Morgan Cox was still on the roster, on their practice squad, the Baltimore Ravens, they had signed a long snapper, Nick Moore. And they kept this guy around for years. And I'm like, why would they have a long snap on a practice squad? Like, what would be the, what, why would they keep a long snap on a practice squad? You got so many other valuable positions that you could have on a practice squad. But you're keeping a long snapper? I, I just didn't get that. But then when Morgan Cox left and he went to the Titans, it was like, oh, no, no, no. We ain't got to look around for no long snappers. We've had one here this entire time. Nick Moore, he ended up replacing him. And that's one thing I was worried about. Like, how is the chemistry going to be? Uh, and Nick Moore, it was a smooth, seamless transition. And a lot of times when a player is replacing somebody else, especially somebody else that's so important to the team and so crucial to one of the biggest things that can happen on a football team with these kicks and these field goals, it can be scary. It can be scary. But when it's a smooth transition like it was, it's like, OK, nice. Ravens made the right decision. That's why. It, and it made everything that the Ravens did with Nick Moore, them keeping him around on the practice squad, it made it make sense. But this is different because this, them signing Ott, this is not somebody that they were preparing to sign. This wasn't somebody that they were keeping around on a practice squad for years before they decided, all right, it's, it's his time now. No, 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 no. This happened because Nick Moore, unfortunately, tore his Achilles and is most likely going to be out for the season it's not officially official yet but most likely he's going to be out for the season uh so we'll see how that goes now i wonder wonder if he could make a late comeback now i know with david ajabo like last year he tore his achilles but that was in i think february uh yeah it was either in Feb uh, yeah i think it was in february uh and he came back toward the end of the season but at, with his position there's a lot less i mean there's a lot more stress on your leg and whatnot obviously as a pass rusher but as a long snapper uh you're just snapping the ball so while you still do need your full body um there's a lot less pressure and a lot less uh extensive uh just activity going on with your legs and with your achilles specifically but you obviously want to be healthy first and foremost so that's the most important um, so we'll see We'll see how this goes Obviously they did have some other guys in for tryouts uh, And they like what they saw uh, from Ott And they decided to go with him So hopefully he can just go in there And everything will be smooth sailing What will be big for him Not only the, uh, the training camp But preseason Preseason Let him get in there Let him do the long snaps with Jordan Stout uh, Let him do the long snaps with Justin Tucker Doing the field goals Let him get in all of that Let him get in, in, in all of that Because He'll need that repetition. He'll need that practice. They'll need to start really, and obviously they're going to do it in practice with forming that chemistry, but that repetition in real game action, in live game action. Because when you think about it, like, I know there'll be some people that will be like, oh, kickers' jobs are so easy. Like, I, I know um, even my brother in law, my brother, he, he ain't really he ain't into football like that, like, really at all. Um, well, at least American football. But he is like, man, that, that's, all, that's all his job is to do, it's just a kick. Man, that's so easy. All he has to do is kick, but he doesn't understand. Like that is it, that is his job, but it, there's so much pressure on that because if you're a great kicker, 
It's like, all right, you're respected and whatnot. But if you're a bad kicker, then it can, it, it can make so many bad things happen on a team. Think about if you're a bad kicker and you put the opponents in great position for them when you're doing a kickoff. On a kickoff. They get big kick returns on you. You kick into the, uh, the return man and you set him up nice to get a big return. And I mean, sometimes some stuff just happens. But what if you're consistently doing that? Like every, oh, every time somebody plays your team, they're getting big kick returns. It's like, oh, man, come on now. Well, who are you kicking to? What are you doing? Oh, what if that kicker kicks it out of bounds and the, uh, the team, they start at the 40-yard line instead of the 25-yard line? What if that kicker, who's his only job to kick, but what if, hey, game-winning field goal time and that pressure's on and he just can't face it? So it's like a kicker's job is to kick, but it is still a very, very tough job. Uh, and, and, again, football continues to show why it is the ultimate team sport everybody got to be on point together everybody does because if there's one weak link that one weak link it can break the entire chain at every time like again you you go to offense say for offense the offensive line is blocking wonderfully quarterback drops back he getting protection the running backs drop back in protection too uh just to give the quarterback an extra wall around him so he got the offensive line and he got the running back staying back to block wide receivers out there running their routes they get open a tight end get open oh man quarterback got options so the quarterback throws to that receiver quarterback throws the ball perfect ball receivers running receivers wide open receiver goes to catch the ball he drops it Oof. all of that for nothing all of that great protection all of the quarterback reading the field wonderfully the perfect throw all for nothing because the receiver dropped it so football again the ultimate team sport you flip it to defense defense they getting pressure well say for instance they're not even getting pressure say for instance the defense the defensive line they trying to they engaging with the offensive line they're trying to push them back but they're not just not getting there opposing quarterback drops back he throws in the middle of coverage and the linebacker he throws it right to the linebacker oh interception here we go and the linebacker drops it oof that could have changed the game could have changed so much. And say, for instance, everybody around the, the linebacker, all the corners were locking down the receivers. Another linebacker was locking down the tight end. Nobody was open. So the defense was doing their job. Everybody was on point. Quarterback threw the ball and the linebacker dropped the easy interception. It's like, oh, man. So, again, ultimate team sport. So, hopefully, uh, with Ott, again, like I said, he can just, he can fit right in. Tyler Ott. Um... I uh this this came out yesterday. This news came out yesterday, but I was just like, no, uh, uh-uh. I'm tired because uh, again, yesterday was crazy. As y'all know, it told you it's gonna get crazy, and it's already crazy. Everybody's gonna be reporting today, though. Everybody should be showing up today for training camp. Today is the 25th, and I believe they aren't taking the field till tomorrow. Don't quote me on that though, but. We'll see. So, yeah, everybody's supposed to be back in the building today. I'm sure by the time you see this video, you'll have seen the Ravens post some clips of some guys coming back, some guys maybe working out, some guys walking around and whatnot. You know how they do. Just give us a little taste. Give us, give us, get us a little hyped and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, it should be good, man. But this, it, it sucks for Nick Moore um, It because it, you just, it's, it's annoying. It's got to be super frustrating because, again, you – you train for this. You work hard for this. And, like, imagine that. Something that you, you work hard for every year. Something that you train for every year. Imagine it being taken away from you like that. Try to put yourself in their shoes. It's taken away like that. In a second. So, and I'm sure when, when it happened, however it happened and wherever it happened, I'm sure he was like, he was probably in pain. And I, I'm sure he was like, it, it was hopeful pain, though. Like, oh, man, I don't know what this is. I hope it's not this. I hope it's not that. Hopefully it'll be something that'll go away. Hopefully it'll be something minor. But then when he got it checked out and got it uh, confirmed, it was like, man, that, and that's a big blow. Because that's a big blow to him physically, obviously, because he tore his Achilles. But that's a big blow to him mentally too. So hopefully for Nick Moore's sake, uh, he'll get his physical right because they have the surgery and everything, get it fixed. But hopefully his mentals can be right uh, as well because that's a, a big challenge to face. Um, because especially with NFL. Because we know NFL stands for not for long. It really does. And get, like we always talk about, there's always somebody waiting to take your job. There's always somebody waiting. And not that people are hoping that you go down with an injury or whatnot, but people want an opportunity for themselves. So they're sitting back salivating, just waiting. Like, man, when am I going to get my shot? When am I going to get my time? And while there was nobody behind Nick Moore in this situation, now with, uh, with Tyler Ott stepping in, uh, he's not going to look back. 
he's not gonna of course i'm sure he feels bad for nick moore but he knows this is business so he's gonna step in there and try to go do his thing and he's gonna hope that he sticks because he was obviously a free agent that's why ravens had the availability to sign him so yeah man it's oof, tough business man we get reminded how tough of a business it is every single year every single month every single season really every single day but anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. And leave a like on the video. Because like I keep saying, that let YouTube know that, yeah, you look crazy because you watch this crazy person's channel. But I love how crazy y'all are. I appreciate y'all. And we out.